Good afternoon, uh, Facebook friends. Pastor Brian here, and uh, I'm outside. Crazy, but it's summertime, and rain is something that, uh, I don't know, is good for the soul. Uh, we had a stretch of very, very hot days here in Cincinnati, uh, and it's, so it's nice to be outside and have it be a rain. It's not a fall rain where it gives you a chill to the bone, but one that, uh, again, is as a kid, maybe going out playing, running around, uh, having a good time with that. So, so I'm choosing to stand outside, and I got an umbrella though. So, but uh, uh, it's 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 nice to see uh, the moisture falling in a a manageable way, unlike St. Louis had recently, and Colorado's having, and uh, the hills of West Virginia later today. Uh, mindful of that, but uh, it does part of creation and part of life. So. Uh, with that, I am glad you are able to join me either live or watching the recorded version of this later on today, as many of you do. Uh, it's it's nice to be able to connect with you on this in this way each week. Uh, this week, uh, it's uh, days of summer. Uh, as I was thinking about what's happening in the world, there's same old things that we lift up that we can name from week to week. But this time of year, my mind, uh, as I was reflecting today, goes to the many people are traveling. Uh, our own family uh, is traveling many places, uh, whether it's for work or vacation. Uh, next week we travel as a family uh, away. Uh, but lots of people I know in our faith community and friends are, are uh, uh, on the road or in the skies. Uh, a trip through an airport shows that. It's, uh, there aren't many people wearing business suits these days. It's more families in leisure attire uh, filling the airports and making the lines long. So. Uh, mindful of that and grateful that we live in a society that is able to support that, uh, to be able to have a Sabbath rest, uh, time of leisure, time to connect with family, and also to get and see uh, God's creation. Uh, if you're on Facebook, which you are, if you're watching this, you can see your friends. Uh, you can be an armchair traveler through your friends. I have a pastoral colleague friend who's out, out in the West, and so I'm living vicariously through his postings on Facebook, places I've never been and maybe someday we'll get to. Uh, so I pray that you'll have a chance this in these summer days to travel, uh, or if not, there's certainly the staycations. I know lots of neat things to do here in Cincinnati to renew your soul that way. Uh, this past Sunday we gathered for worship in the park, <coughs> and uh, was, uh, it was nice to be in Washington Park and outside uh, to connect with a different part of our neighborhood than where we've been worshiping at Philippus or even our own building at, at First Lutheran, uh, to be mindful of, of the surroundings and, and uh, where we are. So uh, get out and see, uh, rain or shine. Uh, so with that, let's jump into prayer. The Lord be with you. Gracious God, we gather today. We give you thanks for the rain falling from the heavens. Uh, a reminder that you control the seasons, that you water the earth, nourish the soil, uh, so that new life can be ever-present in the cycles of the seasons. Thank you for that. Uh, and we are mindful that we can always do a better job of being caretakers of the creation that you've entrusted us to steward. Uh, we continue to pray for those who are uh, facing COVID uh, infections as those numbers go up. Uh, we pray for uh, people in our world, again, who live in harm's way uh, through through warfare and disruption and bring peace to our lands, guide leaders. Uh, we pray for our faith communities as we, Philippus and First Lutheran, uh, minister together to one another, but also with each other as we uh, serve in the community and remain an ever-present uh, voice proclaiming uh, the gospel of Jesus Christ and sharing God's love. Uh, may we continue to be steadfast in our commitment to do that an ever-present uh, proclaimer of that good news. I give us strength and courage and, and diligence uh, to be stewards of that and a mindfulness of that as we look to the next generations. Uh, watch over our land. Uh, bless all peoples, whatever their needs might be. Uh, we pray for those who are in need of healing, those who might be lonely, those who are facing addictions, uh, those who uh, are facing homelessness or are experiencing homelessness. Uh, those who hunger, uh, those who have any need. Uh, we are mindful, too, of teachers as they look towards new school year beginning in the coming weeks, starting to wind down from summer, but also that excitement of renewal that comes around each year as they 
long and look forward to be back in the classroom. Uh, we give thanks that uh, we have schools that are able to provide and support for our children. Uh, may our educators and administrators be supported as well. Uh, be with us, gracious God, and this week uh, be with us as we uh, await to return together to worship with you uh, and give you thanks and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for uh, joining me uh, this afternoon. I look forward to being with you 11 o'clock in person or on Zoom worship uh, at Philippus Church or on Zoom for worship. Uh, meeting after church uh, related to updates related to First Lutheran's ministry. I uh, encourage you to attend that. That will be available on Zoom as well for those who attend worship. Uh, with that, uh, also a reminder would be that we're doing a backpack drive, collecting school supplies. That information is available beyond the email that goes out with the recording of this here today. So with that, go in peace, share the love of God. Thanks be to God.